world is grappling with COVID-19, we've seen how music can uplift the spirit. Images of neighbours playing music for each other from their balconies in Italy was a bright moment in the early days of quarantine. Music allows us to be together, even when we're physically apart. It reinforces our sense of shared experience and humanity. It's therefore a great honour that the United Nations Chamber Music Society, an accomplished group who use the universal language of music to promote the principles enshrined in the United Nations Charter, have decided to mark this World Humanitarian Day. They do that with a special performance, which includes pieces by Bach, Mel Mendelssohn and Brahms. My heartfelt thanks go to the United Nations Chamber Music Society and to humanitarian workers everywhere whose dedication we celebrate today. Greetings. My name is Brenda Von Gova, founder of the UN Chamber Music Society. Today's concert and celebration of World Humanitarian Day is in honor of every person in need in this world and to pay special tribute to the real life heroes from the United Nations and other humanitarian organizations who have committed their lives to helping others in the most extreme circumstances throughout the world. Every day, the humanitarian community provides life-saving support and protection to the people most in need around the globe, including refugee camps, internal displacement settlements, in urban cities and remote locations. This year, World Humanitarian Day comes as the world continues to fight the COVID-19 pandemic over recent months. Aid workers are overcoming unprecedented access hurdles to assist people in the humanitarian crises in 54 countries. Despite the pandemic, humanitarians stayed in these emergencies and continue to deliver. I'd like to thank the Undersecretary General and Head of OCHA, Mark Lowcock, and the Permanent Observer and Head of Delegation of the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies to the UN, Richard Blewett, for their opening statements. I'd also like to thank Dr. Joseph Pulisi, President Emeritus of Juilliard, as well as Dr. Adam Meyer, Provost of Juilliard for their kind support to this concert. I am pleased to deliver today's performance in partnership with the Sound Bridges International, founded by Florey Marshall from the Yale School of Music, together with the extraordinary members of the UN Chamber Music Society. The music program will feature musical works that represent an artistic tapestry of human experience to provoke empathy and to create a more compassionate world in hopes of building bridges of cultural understanding. Music symbolizes love and peace and can help highlight the plights of the most vulnerable as the case in our concert today. All musicians will perform music from the safety of their homes to help stem the spread of the coronavirus. I hope that you will enjoy this concert. I thank you.
Good evening. I'm honored to be a part of this virtual concert in celebration of World Humanitarian Day. The art of music has been an essential part of the human experience for millennia, bringing joy, solace, and intellectual stimulation to societies around the world. Today, as we deal with a pandemic which has touched every one of us, we can experience this concert as a manifestation of the best of humanity, an experience which makes seemingly abstract sounds come together in sophisticated structures to stimulate the mind and feed the soul. This evening's program features artists and compositions from around the world, representing numerous cultural traditions and historical periods that enrich each one of us, from the genius of Johann Sebastian Bach to the perceptive and moving work of the great Syrian clarinetist, Kenan Asma. This continuum represents the best of humanity and motivates us all to strive for a future of peace and for mutual understanding. I wish to congratulate Brenda Von Gova, Artistic Director of the United Nations Chamber Music Society, and this evening's performing artists for providing us with a joyful experience communicating the very best values of our global community. Thank you.
Hello, I'm Adam Meyer, Provost and proud alumnus of the Juilliard School, and I'm honored to join you for this performance in celebration of World Humanitarian Day. At Juilliard, our mission is to provide an unmatched educational and artistic experience for gifted musicians, dancers, and actors so that they may achieve their fullest potential as artists, leaders, and global citizens. With mentorship from our world-class faculty, our students graduate into a remarkable alumni community of artists and citizens. It is a community that believes that the arts are vital to the human experience, leading to greater cultural understanding and ultimately a better world. Today's event pays tribute to aid workers who often risk their safety to help others in times of crisis. We are immensely grateful for their heroic work. This event is especially meaningful to us at Juilliard because so many of our talented alumni are taking part in today's performance. We are so proud of them. On behalf of Juilliard, I want to thank the United Nations Chamber Music Society for its dedication to promoting the UN goals through the universal language of music and for this opportunity to welcome the global audience to this performance to celebrate World Humanitarian Day. And I thank all the humanitarian workers at the United Nations for their critically important support of relief efforts around the globe. We are honored to be here today to help bring greater awareness and deeper understanding to this invaluable work. Thank you.
The COVID-19 pandemic will leave behind, hopefully soon, an immense toll of human suffering and sadly more than a few examples of failed leadership to deal with this tragedy. But uh, this sad episode will also leave us with many lessons and inspirational examples of human solidarity and enlightened leadership that we and future generations should treasure and put to good use as new challenges are confronted in the years to come. The defeat of the pandemic, which will also be a resounding rebuff of the recklessness, ignorance and discord that has aggravated enormously the pain caused by the disease, will be, above all, the triumph of the humanitarian spirit. Our world, our nations, our communities will overcome these hard tests thanks to those who have applied themselves to serve others with their most dedicated work, with their generosity and compassion, and with an unwavering, wise and collaborative application of the best scientific knowledge. We know that they have done their service to the point of personal sacrifice and in the case of many health providers, risking and even losing their lives. The end of the pandemic will be indeed a victory of civilization, but also of the humanitarian values that give it purpose and transcendence for the peoples of our world. Consequently, it is most fitting to use this World Humanitarian Day 2020 and this concert to express our tribute and deepest gratitude to those who are giving the best of themselves to save the rest of us from the tribulations being endured.
The Red Cross and the Red Crescent, 192 national societies, 14 million volunteers are around the world taking measured risks to support communities in the time of COVID. We are focused on providing basic health care in support of the public authorities. We are focused on providing clear information so communities and individuals and families can protect themselves. And we are focused on providing practical support in the area of water and sanitation and other basic health care needs that are also under stress at this time. Finally, the Red Cross Red Crescent are also providing economic support, particularly to those that are most vulnerable. We really part value the partnership with the United Nations and we look forward to doing our best and getting more international solidarity and support for the important work we are doing at this very stressful time. Thank you.